You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host, and today I have here with me in studio Sheila Sullivan Jarnum. I said it right, right? You did. Good to see you, Sheila. Thanks Good for afternoon. coming over. Certainly. Um, Sheila's the Executive Director of Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board, otherwise known as BayWeb. We'll talk acronyms later. And you have some exciting news for us. You have a big event coming up, and uh, basically you're now a proud, uh, I'm not going to say homeowner, business owner, or the organization is, of uh, the building on School Street address. 34 School Street. 34 School Street, which a lot of us back in the day knew as different banks. Bank of New England, I think it was Plymouth the Shama, Home Plymouth, Plymouth Home National, you name it. No, it wasn't the Shama. That was another building, but that's okay. It just dates me. Um, you're having an open house. We are. Very exciting. Um, we actually purchased the building uh, probably about seven, eight months ago, back mm -hmm. in uh, last June, and really have spent the past year updating some of the interior, um, new carpets, new paints. We had a um, energy conservation come in and redo the lights and the HVAC system. So we've really been focusing on the, the infrastructure of the building during the past nine months. We're opening it up to the public to have their, their first look at um, some of the changes that have taken place. And we anticipate um, really outfitting the building within the next year or so with a variety of different labs of manufacturing, information technology, and um, healthcare. That will really answer the demands and the needs of the, the workforce in our region. Now the date is Thursday, April 7th. It's in the afternoon, 3 to 6. 3 to 6. And uh, I assume that people have already gotten a little bit of a sneak peek because there's so many agencies within your building that they may have already seen some of this already. Absolutely. So um, the, as I said, the, the event is April 7th, 3 to 6. And um, the entire building at 34 School Street will be open. We do have a number of tenants within the building. and. The building is really, we're, we're calling it the Center for Workforce Development mm -hmm. because that's really what we're all about, is developing the workforce in our region. All of the tenants that we've um, accepted into the building also have that same holistic um, mission that we have, helping people through education and training find employment. Mm -hmm. So our, our partners in the building um, include Career Works, which is the One Stop Career Center. We also have a um, uh, Father Bill's Main Spring House is there. In addition to the unemployment office, um, we have a case manager that will help people out with you know, some of their claims. We have a veterans office. We also have our Youth Works, mm -hmm. which is the Youth One Stop Center. Um, Job Corps, which is a federal, uh, federal program also run um, to aid youth in career awareness and, and helping them find their path. So, as I said, the, the whole building really is designed so that it is a center. It'll be a holistic center. People will have the opportunity to come in. Um, Massasoit is, occasionally, is um, uh, on site on a regular basis. They might come in for training and then go down the hall and meet with Massasoit and go down the hall and find out how am I going to afford this and then go down the hall and how do I arrange my, my housing and my child care. So we're really trying to make it so that it is, as I said, a holistic approach to helping people find employment. One-stop shopping. One-stop shopping. Right, okay. I was there when you opened, and I think at, at the time uh, it was under, I mean, U, UMass was involved at mm -hmm. that point in time. I think Billy Bulger was the president, and he came down, and, uh, but that's a phenomenal building. That's kind of like this building over here. It's a, it's, it's, it's a fortress. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bunker in a way because it was so well built when they mm -hmm. did it back in the day. Still got the vaults in there like we do over Still here. Still have the vaults. Okay. Found some old blueprints. If you come into the open house, you'll see we've had them framed. Um, it really, uh, it, it's a very interesting building. It's got great bones, as they say. Mm -hmm. um, eight, nine inch concrete walls. Mm -hmm. uh, the building was built in 1909. Mm -hmm. So it definitely shares a lot of the history um, you know, with the city itself. Um, being smack in the middle of downtown also has its, has its um, benefits of being on public transportation. Mm -hmm. um, we are adjacent to a public parking lot. So it's an easy place for people to get to as they're looking for assistance in their, their employment. Now at the event, since it's workforce development, the Secretary of Labor and Workforce Development is going to be 
kind of the keynote speaker. Secretary Walker has agreed to come down and, and address workforce um, issues that you know we're facing currently. He's also going to be talking a little bit more about what we call demand driven. This is an initiative that the state is actually putting forward where we are focusing more on employer needs, employer engagement. Here in the Brockton area, we've been doing this for a number of years. UMass Dunhu Institute does run our one-stop career center for us. And a few years back, we looked at how do we better develop a strategy for getting people employed. And then it really you know, came that we, if we start with the employers and see what needs they have in order to grow their businesses, grow their organizations, we can then help them from the bottom up and help them fill those openings. So it really has been an employer engagement, and that's um, you know a bit what uh, the secretary will be speaking on. We're also fortunate that we'll have uh, Dr. Grismer from UMass Dunhu Institute. She's the executive director there, and she'll be addressing workforce from the education perspective. Mm -hmm. And um, the mayor has has agreed to serve as the um, providing the introductions for both uh, Secretary Walker and Dr. Grismer. So we're very excited about um, the lineup that we have. And when you come that day, you can get tours. And we'll have tours. We have um, a variety of different things going on in our lower level, which is the one-stop center for youth. Um, we will have a couple of our uh, partner vendors. Um, the Sound Lab is a, is a vendor for us, and they're running a program for youth who are interested in learning about DJing. Mm -hmm. So Shane is going to be bringing some of his equipment, and they'll be having demonstrations on some of his program. Um, we also have demonstrations that will be available in our manufacturing lab and in our um, information technology lab. On the first floor, we will have what's called our partners corner. Mm -hmm. And that includes our partners from different state agencies. Mass Rehab will be there, Massasoit, uh, Father's Bills, the One Stop Center, um, a number of different partners again so that we can provide and really show people all the different types of resources that are available within this one set of walls. On the second floor, we'll be showing our, off our healthcare lab and um, you know, giving demonstrations in regards to uh, CPR and, and some of the, um, the entry level skills that are taught within the building. Well, we definitely want people to go, but we're gonna tell them ahead of time we're gonna be there with the camera and we're gonna go on a tour with you. We'll, we'll get some of the inside so we can see all the um, you know, congratulations. I, it, it's, it's, it's hard to end up being the owner of a building that size. And we, we deal with it here all the time, but we're glad we brought this one back and mm -hmm. hopefully there'll be more like that to come. So any final thoughts you want to get out to the, uh, to the audience uh, about BayWeb or about the whole transformation? Well, um, we have, as I said, a, a quite a few different things going on. Um, this next week, we are offering one of our first trainings in the, in the facility. So we have a direct care worker training that is taking off and will be starting next week. If anyone has interest in it, they can contact us this week. Um, the first class will start March 30th. Mm -hmm. And that will be, as I said, one of our first trainings that we will have implemented with the ownership of the building. The Center for Workforce Development was really designed by a board who is cognizant of really where we need to be in the economic spectrum in order to advance not only the individuals and the companies, but the city of Brockton and our region as a whole. Perfect. Thank you for sharing. Absolutely. And we're looking forward to the open house. And we're looking forward to having you. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.